Hey there, TRW Crew, Matt Vassallo here with TheRhinestoneWorld.com. So in this tutorial video, this is kind of like one of our TRW labs. I'm going to try and press, and as you can see, this is our finished product here. But how I press this heat transfer vinyl, the glitter heat transfer vinyl, to a regular mug that you would sublimate. So this is a test. This is only a test. So we haven't tested it out as far as how long it's going to last. It feels like it's on there pretty awesome. So we think there's a pretty good possibility this could work. It might be a hand wash only, but we're going to test this out, see what happens. But I'm going to show you right here exactly how I did this. So if I show you close here, you can see how awesome this looks with the two color glitter heat transfer vinyl onto an actual coffee mug. So we're going to show you how I did this real quick and then you guys let me know what you think in the comments below if you think it's going to last or if you think it's going to fall off. We'll see. Okay, so here we're cutting the heat transfer vinyl on our Graftech CE6060 vinyl cutter. So again, we are using a heat transfer vinyl in this process. So of course, you're going to mirror the design when you design it. And this is just a design we did very quickly in the TRW Stone Wizard software and Corel Draw. So once it's cut, obviously you need to weed the material. So you can see the weeding process is very easy. Now we did use a 60 degree blade and we had our settings right at about 10 grams of uh, downforce on the Graftec CE6060. We did a normal speed of about 40 and we did do a double cut just to make it weed easier. So you can see when I bend the material right here, how easy it is to just actually pull it up and it weeds out perfectly. So there's our silver glitter. Now we have our red glitter of the design right here. As you can see, again, the weeding process is very easy once you do that double cut and you use that 60 degree blade. So anytime you're using the thicker material, you do want to use that 60 degree blade or the 65 degree blade, depending on what vinyl cutter you're using. So this one is done here. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like as the two color design. So we have our red there and our silver is going to go right on top of it. And that's what it's going to look like when we actually layer it onto the mug. Okay, so now we're over here at our mug press, and you can see the settings I have. So we played around with the settings a little bit ahead of time. When we did our normal heat transfer vinyl settings, it wasn't set to a high enough temperature, and we weren't pressing it long enough. It wasn't actually adhering to the mug. So you can see I have the mug, and I just pressed the heat transfer vinyl onto it. I did use a little bit of our heat tape on the sides. And I'm at 360 degrees for 30 seconds. So I sped up the video right here so you don't have to wait the full 30 seconds. But again, I was right at about 360 degrees, 350, 360, somewhere in that range. And now the mug is going to be very hot. So you can see I'm being careful when I pull off the tape right here. You don't have to do it right away. But I pull that off and our red glitter is applied pretty good right here. So obviously the mug is still very hot. So you can see when I'm trying to line this up right here, I'm going to grab some more of my heat tape, put it on each side of my heat transfer vinyl transfer right there. And let's go ahead and line this up. So I want to make sure it's lined up perfect. My tape's going to help hold it in place right there. Now the mug is still very hot. You can cool down the mug a little bit or let it sit a little while if you'd like. And we are good to go. So now I'm going to put this back into our mug press as well. And you can see again, we're right around that 360 degrees for the temperature. And we're going to go 30 seconds again on this. So you can see, I'm going to go ahead and speed the video up again here. So you don't have to wait the 30 seconds. It clicked. So we're going to go ahead and pull this off here pull off my tape and you can see how nicely this comes off right here and that's actually applied to our mug now so again you can bring it over to a water fountain or cool it down dip it in some water to cool it down quicker or just set it off to the side so again not positive exactly how this is going to last this is one of our trw labs but we are going to be able to let you know but i think it looks pretty awesome on this mug here and you can customize it and get pretty creative with something like this with the glitter heat transfer vinyl so again this is our finished product here hope you all enjoyed the tutorial video we'll update you here in a couple weeks and let you know how this is lasting through wash 
We're gonna try and hand wash first to see if that works, see how long that lasts. And then after that, if that works, we'll try some actual dishwasher as well to give you an update on that. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. Many more on our channel at therhinestoneworld.com on YouTube. Make sure to check them all out. Comment below. Let us know what you think of this video. And let us know again if you think this is gonna last or not. Have a great day, crew.